Thank you, Adam. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Benjamin Stetcher. I'm from Toronto, Canada, by way of Nairobi, Kenya, but Israel and Denmark and a bunch of other places in between as well. Um, so I'm here today because my foot is shaking, kind of. Uh, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease about 10 years ago. Um, but last year, I actually underwent a pretty radical kind of new treatment for this particular disease. It's called deep brain simulation therapy. It's been done about 200,000 times all around the world. But what was unique about mine was that mine is actually an adaptive system as well. And what I'm going to do, maybe, I don't know if now is a good time. Sure. Okay. So now I'm actually going to be demonstrating to you what exactly that looks like here. So, Adam. So, thank you. This is a Samsung programmer for Medtronic. If you look on the screen above you, you'll see that was me about one year ago today, or the first one was June 1st of last year. That lovely looking cap that I had on my skull was a frame that got bolted into a much larger contraption that then held me in place as the deep brain simulator was implanted within me. That next picture that you see was three days later in the hospital after the battery was inserted in my chest and the wires were tunneled through my neck. If you go to the next picture though, so that was during this operation itself. Uh, if anyone is squeamish, I said this before, but if anyone is squeamish, they might want to look away right now. <laughs> Too late though, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but in that picture, the holes are being drilled through the tops of my head. And I was awake for that entire surgery as well. It was about an eight hour procedure. Um, and this is basically the result of that. Now, before I show you this next thing, please go to the next slide. And I want to, show you what it sounds like inside your own sub So what do you think that was? Any guesses as to what that sound might have been? Well, obviously it's a part of my brain, um, but which part of, actually it's more or less what your brain sounds like as well, if you go deep, deep, deep inside of it. Any idea what that structure is called though? That mine, my, it's, it's the most common structure that DBS is implanted in, in people with Parkinson's disease. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> so yes, that was the subthalamic nucleus. And that's more or less what yours sounds like as well. Now I don't know about you guys, but to me that sounds like 10,000 dolphins all chattering all at once very quickly. If we can play one more time while I set up this next thing. And please zoom in on this if you have a minute. Thank you. All right, now what's happening is, I don't know if you can see this right now. Yeah, good, okay. All right, so. The communication is in progress. So what's happening is that there's a message going from here to this transponder thing, to the battery, to the wires, and then back out again. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you what the three things that is really unique about, or kind of unique about this thing. So first there's the adaptive setting, which is currently on right now. I'm gonna turn this off momentarily. Um, a couple of things I need to say first. Well, actually I'm gonna hold off on some of these things for now. But first, I just want to let you guys know that um, I'm just going to pause the adaptive therapy and you'll see a slight change within me as it reverts back to the continuous DBS settings. Come on. It's loading something. There we go. All right. So now in an instant, and I don't know how much you guys were able to perceive, to be honest, but I feel it pretty instantaneously as my tremor tends to get a little bit worse. But there's also a bunch of things happening within me as well that are somewhat imperceptible to you guys because you guys don't know what it's like to be in my brain, obviously. Um, I'm going to turn this back on now, but then what I'm going to do next is going to be a little bit more dramatic as well. Hold on. And was it, was it totally off just now? No, no, no. It's on no, continuous. No. So that was just the continuous settings as well. However, this, I have a bone to pick also with Medtronic. I hope there's no Medtronic reps here right now. But I don't know if anybody could just see, but there was two words written left and right. What do you think left and right actually means though? 
So neither me nor my doctors really knew at the beginning because the, the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body and vice versa. It was not properly labeled on this lovely little Samsung thing. And so, yeah, but now it's gonna be a little bit more dramatic. And for some people it might be a little bit uncomfortable to see this next part. But I'm gonna turn off the whole device and you'll see what the whole effect of DVS is like and then I'll turn it back on as well. A couple of things to note though is that I might not be able to speak properly during it. I'll continue to talk. I'll try to talk as much as I can, but you'll see how my ability to speech, my ability to speak will be limited at that at, in those times as well. But yeah, without further ado, let me just turn this baby off. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can you zoom in so I can see it? Come on. All right. So now what's happening is in, in an instant, the uh, electricity from the battery was turned off. Some of the most uh, difficult parts for me is something called dystonia. Does anybody know what dystonia is? It's like a curl, it's when your muscles become very, very tense. And again, this happens pretty instantaneously because of this wonderful little DVS device that I have implanted inside of me. So it's something that you can't see in my foot. In particular, it's a little bit painful even sometimes because it's, it's curled up like even this, it's hard for me to actually let go of the grip on this transponder even. Anyways, I'm gonna turn this back on and hopefully this will turn itself back on as well. Oh. Communication in progress, hold on. Still, okay. <sighs> okay, so I feel it instantaneously, but usually it takes a few minutes for the effect to then wash through my whole body. I'm gonna stop talking for now though and hand it over back over to our moderator over there. Thank you, Ben.